don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. I'm too busy getting money. Ain't worried about you niggas hanging on me. You ain't got nothing better to do with your time. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification, gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise, if you heard me right. This sweater right here is from undraftedshop.com. Salute to my man, Sean Kilpatrick, for hooking me up with the merchandise and all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's groovy, it's groovy. A big dog. Yo, so let me talk to y'all, man. I know I know the clip will blow. I know I talk fast. No, I don't talk fast. You just listen slow. Rare Breed Entertainment. Max out is going down today. See, some I've been getting asked a lot of the same questions, so I figured I'd come make a quick blog, talk about what the questions I've been getting asked. You know what I'm saying? Even though this is Rare Breed Entertainment's event, I know when people don't know where to go, where how to see it, things like that, they start inboxing, DMing, and asking you questions. So here's the deal. So the pay per view is fifty dollars. Uh, rapgrid.com is where you can pick that up, you know what I'm saying? Rapgrid.com, you go on there, you look at the uh, links involved, and you can make a little profile and uh, buy the pay-per-view there. Uh, the battles are as follows, you know what I'm saying? I know people be asking. Cassidy vs. Hitman, Clone vs. Big K, Ill Will vs. A Ward, Show Off vs. Rosenberg Raw, O Red vs. Jag, and there's some 1SKs. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know them. I, 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 whatever, I, I'm doing a lot here. Salute to ARP, you know what I'm saying? I already shot me out on the live stream yesterday. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I went back and seen the actual face-offs between every single person that was involved. Bro, I'm gonna get to my predictions in one second. I feel like, I, I think there's some things that we need to talk about. So, when it comes to some of the battles on there, there are, I feel like some things are gonna go some ways, you know what I'm saying? I think I, I feel like, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the Sirius Jones thing, you know what I'm saying? What I've heard and things like that. So just stick with me, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back around another 10 minutes or so. Ride with me, nigga. The event's about to start soon anyway. It's, oh yeah, and it goes live at 1 p.m., you know what I'm saying? Like, that's when the stream goes live. But we just getting this out. Let's, 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 let's get right through this. So, um, I say, A Ward vs. Ill Will's gonna be the battle of the night. Show Off vs. Rosenberg Raw will be one of them RBE classics. Clone is going to open up a lot of eyes today. Clone, if you haven't seen Clone, he's got mad battles. He just battled PC. He battled Snake Eyes. He's uh, battled Mac Myron. Clone versus Big K. Clone is going to, oh, he battled Carter Deems or three days prep. Get in tune with Clone. If you don't ever listen to nothing I said, get it through your head. You know what I'm saying? Clone is one of them ones. Bullpen. You know John John don't bring out a lot of bad artists. Um... Hitman vs. Cast is going to be exactly what we think it is. Whatever you, whatever you think it's going to be, what, whatever you think it's going to be is exactly what it's going to be. Um, o Red vs. Jack is going to be a war. O Red is mad. A mad O Red could jump in his bag. Um, I think O Red is going to be the transformer today. I think we'll get the best Jag we ever saw, but O Red is going to be one of them ones today. So, here's the deal. Um, the face-off last night... Jag controlled the room. Jag was barking all O Red. Jag was making O Red look small. He was like, you ever lost your teeth? O Red was bringing out like sort of a kind of angle that Jag doesn't pay no bills or Jag lives with, lives with a girl. Lives, I don't know what the case may be. I don't know how strong that is because if, I, this is just my thought process. If a nigga say, yo, I smashed one of your chicks, that means a nigga got multiple chicks. You know what I'm saying? Or if a nigga be like, yo, I fuck one of you. That shit don't really mean nothing because if a nigga ain't with the chick no more, or whatever the case may be, unless it's a nigga wife or a nigga girlfriend that he actively with, that shit don't really hit like that, you know what I'm saying? You know how many joints we done oh, oh, sent back to the streets? You know? <laughs> Once they back in the streets, they don't belong to me. Um, but I have a feeling, um, my prediction in O-Red versus Jag, I have O-Red winning 2-1. Because O Red has all the tools that are necessary to beat a Jag. O Red has damn near 40 battles. Jag is in his third or fourth battle. I think this is his fourth one. O Red has all of the tools necessary to. Because Jag is going to have wild aggression. Jag is going to be barking on him. Jag is going to be all up in O Red. He's going to be wilding on him. But 
O-Red has the tools to, to punch, to counter punch, to bring sets of material. Like the, the things that O-Red could do lyrically, Jag can't, in a battle rap sense, Jag, Jag is not there yet, but Jag got bars, Jag got aggression. And if Jag let, if O-Red let Jag steal the first round, Jag might fuck around and make it debatable. So O-Red's, for me, I feel like the most necessary round for O-Red to win is the first round. Because if he wins the first round, it'll be very difficult to beat him two more rounds. He just battled A-Ward and had a debatable with him. A lot of people had O-Red, some people had uh, A-Ward winning. So, it, it, O-Red got the tools necessary to beat a Jag. It would actually be a letdown. Just saying. It would kind of be a letdown, O-Red, if you let Jag beat you. Um, When it comes to a war versus ill will. This battle, that battle right there has everything on it to be a classic. If they both show up and do what we know them to do, what we know them to do, this battle is gonna be a classic. It will definitely be a classic because A War don't choke, A War don't stumble, A War got freestyle, A War got good cadence. Ill will has all of those things and more. He can freestyle, he can uh, joke, he can all of those, man. Like. <sighs> You mean to tell me your daddy ain't still at the collection plate? Like he's gonna be wilding on A-War. A-War's gonna be my rebuttal games crazy, and he's gonna be able to fire right back at Ill Will. That's gonna be one of the ones. I think for me, that's my battle of the night. O-Red versus Ill I mean, um, A-War versus O Will. Ill Will is my battle of the night, by far, clearly. Uh, Shaw versus Rosenberg Raw is gonna be one of them ones. It's gonna be, you're gonna have to watch that one because they got some shit going on between them. They got some shit going on where that RBE, that who's the top guy on RBE, it might not mean something to some people, but for them, for the folks who's RBE enthusiasts, who've been rocking with them since day one, that shit means a lot. And um, O-Red is not trying to get a, I mean, Show Off is not trying to get shown out by Frozenberg. Lyrically, Show Off is a better MC, but Rosenberg does all the things in battle rap that are necessary. He's got a good presence, he's got a good cadence, and he can put together sets of bars that can get him past his opponents. That's what he's done in a lot of his previous joints. Uh, hold on, make sure I ain't forgetting no battles and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like let, us, let, me, let, me, let me do that. Uh, Clone, like I said, Clone gonna open up a lot of eyes today. Him versus Big K should be special. Uh, you know, Big K even taking that battle on a week's notice is a lot because he could have just dubbed the whole situation all together and we wouldn't have had no battle. It would have just been the rest of the joints and nothing else. Uh, Hitman vs. Cass, I'm going to go into this with a clear, open mind. Uh, I think it's going to be exactly what we expect it to be. I feel like Hitman's going to win the battle, but I think Cass will probably step his shit up because he's been in this is his fourth battle now. You will hope that he's starting to get it. You know what I'm saying? Some people had to get it. It took him a couple battles. Reed, it took Reed a couple battles to get it. Until he's throwing dirt on the floor. I feel like Briz. I don't want to murder no more. Like, that shit didn't come after the, uh, after his first battle. I'm an alien. Monster size. His aerial 51. Everything in the vibe. Where you stop? That shit did not happen after one battle. So, while everybody be like, oh, y'all be hating on Cass, hating on Cass. I'm going into this with a clear, open mind frame. I watch the battle as it is. And if Cassidy beats Hitman, if he does, wild thing. That's the way it's gonna be called on camera. It ain't gonna be called no other way. But unfortunately for Hitman, if Cassidy even makes this remotely debatable, it's gonna go Cass way. Max out, max out. Matter of fact, I got some new Air Max, you know what I'm saying? I wanna show y'all these joints. I think these joints is fire. I'm about to bring them max out. Max out for max out. Max out. We got to bring the max out for max out. These joints just came out the other day. The bottom is mad clear. You got to bring them. It's time to bring the max out for max out. These joints is fucking fire. I'm on some real murder shit, eh? They don't call me Vita Fly for nothing. I'm not one of these niggas. Um, last but not least, Sirius Jones versus Big K didn't happen. I'm hearing a multitude of different reasons. Uh, Sirius Jones, what I'm, like I said, I'm not putting the blame on no particular party. What I was told was he was given chances to book his flight. 
he would not give the folks the information to book his flight. And ARP has been burned on multiple situations. He got burned versus JC. He got burned with clean paper. He got burned with Averb. And he was not going through that shit again. The day of the event come up and a nigga hit him up like, yo, I'm not going to make it. I'm sorry. Twitter post. And then he's like, save St. Louis again. You know what I'm saying? ARP wasn't going to go through that shit. And as a businessman, to have his most highly invested event, Hitman vs. Cash easily costed 100 millions. <laughs> Easily, that shit is expensive. And to have your co-main event potentially drop out, like it, it can't go like that. I, it's not given what it's supposed to give. The pay-per-view is $50. If this shit was $50, B, and you don't got a co-main event because Sirius Jones was like, yo, at the last minute, that's y'all problem, I'm not in it. Ooh, that's fire. At the last minute, like, yo, that's y'all problem, I ain't in it. Nigga, we will be wildin'. ARP's my man, but he know how I give it up on this camera. You know this shit would get bad today. Bad, bad. So he had to do what he had to do. You can't blame somebody for doing what's best for their business. Salute to Sirius Jones. Hope everything goes well with him. But my nigga, if you ain't on that motherfucking flight, if you ain't got a confirmation, I heard he had shit going on with his PO, but his PO don't got shit to do with our $50. It don't got nothing to do with our $50. I'm paying $50 to see a battle. I'm not here paying $50 to hear a nigga say, yo, I couldn't come because my PO was like, yo, you can't get on the flight. Niggas is not fucking with that. Is you crazy? Niggas will be wildin' out here. We need a co-main event. He wasn't able to do it. Clone was right down the street. Fuck it. He gonna be here. Yo, I got the bread for you. Show up. Boom. I'd rather take Clone on a week than to take Sirius Jones. And I don't know if he gonna fucking be there or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Nigga tell you he not gonna be there, or he got difficulties with his PO. Nigga, that shit could get stickier than a motherfucker. And then nigga ain't trying to risk his freedom. I wouldn't want him to risk his freedom to come to a battle rap event, go home and be locked up again. But you gotta protect your investment. Are you fucking crazy? I wish a nigga would be like, I done paid you some bands. I'm trying to book your flight. You can't book the flight because your PO ain't give you the go. The event is getting closer and closer and closer. Now I got one week left, and I could book another nigga to take the battle. Or I could wait for you to tell me sometime three days later, and then the nigga can't do it. Nah, we're not doing that. Fuck all that. I'm out. Gang, 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 gang. Motherfucking rapgrid.com. Rare Breed Entertainment. Max out. I brought them air packs out too, bitch. I'm too busy getting money. Ain't worried about you niggas hanging on me. You ain't got nothing better to do with your time.